Speaking of masks, huge shipment of much needed N95 masks being distributed right now for healthcare workers in Massachusetts. They arrived in Boston from China yesterday on aircraft. That's, of course, the Patriots jet. Kate Walsh live in the control room this morning with more. Patrick, perhaps this is the story we all really need to hear on this dreary Friday morning. As we know, personal protective equipment is in high demand right now, and governors and states across the country are competing with each other and with other countries for that supply. So take a look at this. This is what 1.2 million N95 masks look like. They arrived at Boston Logan Airport around 6 last night. Governor Charlie Baker made agreements with several Chinese manufacturers about two weeks ago, but had no way of getting them all here. So that's when he turned to Jonathan Kraft, who's the president of the Patriots and also the chair of the board at Mass General Hospital. An emotional Charlie Baker explained how he was so grateful for the many nonpartisan collaborations and partnerships with private entities, adding that by working together, we can get more done. Jonathan. Honestly, we can't thank you and your dad and your family enough for answering the call and helping make us make this happen. And then on CNN last night, Patriots owner Robert Kraft explained 300,000 of these masks are going to New York. He said New York has had an important role in his life. I spoke to our governor and he said, we're bringing them back. He'd love to help Governor Cuomo. I love it, a Republican governor, a Democratic governor, putting the country first. And we agreed, we agreed to buy them and give them to the people of the city of New York just to try to bring some hope and goodwill. And that shipment will be headed from Massachusetts to New York this morning. And get this, Governor Baker actually secured 1.7 million of those masks in China, but only 1.2 million could make it fit on that plane. So the remainder will be headed to Massachusetts in the next few days. Live in the control room this morning, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.